Hi everyone, this is Laura London from lauralondonfitness.com where hot is the new healthy. Today I want to talk to you about a huge topic that people write to me about all the time. They say, Laura, how do I get rid of my muffin top? You know, spare tire, guys call it the spare tire, but it sits around our waist and it's hard to move and people think they can do millions of crunches and it's go, going to go away or spend hours on the cardio equipment. And it can be really frustrating because I know a lot of people who have been doing everything right and they're slim and trim and they still have this muffin top around their middle and they are super super frustrated so i'm going to give you some answers to the question that you can implement today so first let's talk about diet our diet is number one when it comes to getting rid of the of the muffin top we want to take out all processed foods our bodies do not know what to do with the chemicals in the processed foods. So when we eat things like that that are packaged and have all sorts of chemicals, do you know what the body does? It freaks out. It's like, oh my gosh, what is this stuff coming into my body? We are being attacked. Let's take that stuff. Let's move it away from our internal organs, save our precious body at all costs, and let's stick it as far far away from those precious organs as possible. Let's stick it on the hips. Let's stick it on the middle. Let's create that muffin top. Let's hold on to that fat. And we, don't, we do not want to release it back into the body very easily because it's full of toxins. That body of yours is pretty darn smart. So that's why I'm always preaching eat whole foods, foods from mother nature with one ingredient that you know where it comes from. Obviously eating organic is going to be huge in that department because our foods are sprayed with so many different chemicals and pesticides and herbicides. So if you can't get organic and it's actually getting much, much easier, you can find it in every, every store from you know, Walmart to your high-end grocery stores. But if you can't find something that's organic, then you're gonna get the best quality you can get. And I want you to use a spray, one of those natural sprays to wash your fruits and veggies, to rinse off any of those chemicals that may be stuck on there. Again, they're gonna be seeping in, so just keep that in mind. Another thing we can do is get rid of the toxic chemicals in our personal care products. And this is huge. And I think it's such a missing link because we think diet and exercise, but what about all the things we're putting on our bodies, on our skin? Our skin is our biggest organ and it absorbs everything we put on it. It goes into the bloodstream and your body has to decide what to do with this. If you're putting those lotions and potions that are purple and pink and green and they smell wonderful. They are highly, highly toxic to the body and you know your body's smart. It's gonna take those chemicals and shove them into your fat cells. So people ask me all the time, Laura, what do you use on your skin? I brought some things here today just to show you, but this is um, coconut oil. This is like a, a miracle worker. It's raw, it's unrefined and it's organic. I use it as my makeup remover. I use it as my body lotion. I tell people this, if they can put a birth control patch on the outside of a woman's arm to keep her from getting pregnant, where do you think everything that you're putting on your skin is really going? So think about that. Start reading your labels. Uh, something that I use for my skincare is uh, I've been looking for something for a long time. I found a company that really, really resonated with me. It's called Beauty Counter. I'll put the link down below. But I'm going to give you a little education here in um, cosmetics and the uh, beauty care products. Uh, let me say, um, there hasn't been a law passed, I think, since like 1938 about what can be put into the beauty products and, and personal care products here in the United States. Over in Europe, well over two decades ago, they have banned over 1,300 
toxic chemicals. In the United States, do you know how many they've banned since 1938? 11. That's huge. 11. You don't know what they're putting in that stuff. So, Beauty Counter has banned over 1,500 toxic products in their uh, personal care products. So definitely go check that out. It's going to have a huge effect. Another thing is the water we drink. We always want to be drinking the purest water we can find. Filtered water um, from the tap is generally not good. It's loaded with all sorts of chemicals and stuff you don't want in your body. But also what we're drinking our water in. I, I have a, a water filter at home and I bring my water with me to the gym or wherever I go. Most people are drinking water from these plastic bottles. These plastic bottles have been sitting in trucks going across the country. They're heated at like hundreds of hundreds of degrees just sitting in those trucks waiting to be delivered to the stores. These are full of um, plastics that are going to affect your hormones. Hormones are huge when it comes to losing that muffin top. You can have estrogen dominance, and estrogen dominance is when we have too much, too much estrogen floating around in our bodies. Sometimes that happens naturally with some people, and then they have a high estrogen level, but things that attribute, contribute to the, your estrogen level are drinking plastics, processed foods. So guys, get rid of them. Here are some of my favorites. This is my clean canteen bottle. You'll see me in the gym with these all the time. These are really my favorite. Here's another one that's glass. Glass is another great option to take your water in. And here's another one um, where you can actually put some fruit in here and it's PBA free, so that's another great option. So get rid of the chemicals in your food and personal products. Okay, back to the muffin top. Another huge thing is the way we work out. Crunches are not gonna be getting rid of those muffin tops. Those machines at the gym that isolate your movement in one plane of motion, that's not gonna do it. Your body is meant to move functionally. We bend, we twist. So anything, any of the exercises what, that you do where you're bending and twisting and moving that body, you want to strengthen not only your abs, but everything around from your abs to your back. It's like a girdle that's going to tighten and tone and get rid of that muffin top. I have great workout videos. It's actually one called Lose the Love Handles, which is really popular. So you can check that out to see the different kind of moves I am talking about that are going to help reduce your muffin top. Another thing is posture. I'm really huge on sitting up straight, chest out, shoulders back, because when we're sitting down, Chairs put us in a really bad position. They push us forward and they push your gut forward and it your muscles start slacking and they get loose and your bellies go forward. So I want you to notice throughout the day how you're sitting in your chair, how you're standing when you're driving. Driving is another huge thing that drives me crazy. It puts you in such bad posture. You need to have your chest out, shoulders back, and those abs engaged all day long. Those are three things that are really, really going to help with your muffin top and getting rid of it. And it takes a little while, but you need to be consistent and persistent with your food, with your exercising, and reducing your toxic load. And also, one last thing, stress. Stress is going to contribute to that muffin top, that belly pooch. So I want you to find ways to de-stress. It could be taking a walk, you know, taking a bath, doing something for yourself where you're just letting that body come out of stress mode. I think most of us are walking around all day long, tense and tight, and we don't even realize that. That shoots our cortisol levels up, that stress on the body, stress shuts down digestion, and it also can lead to more estrogen dominance. So those are some of the things I want you to think about 
go out, start getting some better water bottles, personal care products, clean up your diet, and I have a great diet plan for you at Hot and healthybody.com if you need more information. It's the missing instruction manual to your body. I hope that helps you guys and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.